if you have never been to a prophetic encounter before, what that means is we're not saying that you're going to encounter uh, uh, the prophetic, even though there's going to be call out prophecies, there's going to be words of knowledge, there's always instantaneous manifestations of healing and deliverance, there's prophetic teams that you're going to get ministered in, but when we call it a prophetic encounter, what we're saying is you're going to meet Jesus the prophet, <laughs> that the presence of the Lord is here, and he's here to reveal himself, and that's what an encounter is, is, and I have had people when I've said that they've been before they go, Jesus was not a prophet, but actually we have two scriptures in the Bible that call Jesus a prophet. He's our, it calls us Jesus our uh, high priest, Jesus our apostle, Jesus our prophet. So that's not all he was by any means. You know, he is our savior, our redeemer. Uh, he is our deliverer. He is our healer. He is all of those things. But when I say that, I know I've offended some people times past, and I definitely get some activity on social media. Uh, when I say that, but please know that I am not theologically trying to paint our Lord Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, into a corner. You know, we just recognize the, the vastness and the diversity of who he is and how he wants to be made known. Now, tonight, as you come into this place, we want you also to enter into liberty. Uh, it says where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. But you know what? There could be liberty somewhere and people not take liberty. And so I encourage you, take your liberty. I don't know how you best worship God, but as long as you're not hurting somebody or slapping somebody else in the face or stepping on somebody else's toes, I actually, it doesn't matter to me what your style is or what's allowed or not allowed where you might have been. As long as the emphasis is we're finding uh, Jesus and we're putting our eyes upon him and we want you to know that liberty because there's something else that happens in that liberty all of a sudden it's not about us and the holy spirit begins to flow through us in a greater way and we not only have that encounter with jesus we find out that before anybody else has ever been prophesied to us the holy spirit is already speaking to us we find out that you know we're, before any Anybody, we've heard anybody prophesy over anybody else. We find out the Holy Spirit is speaking to us about the person on the right and the person on the left because you get in a prophetic atmosphere just like Saul did. And he prophesied so well uh, when he came into the company of prophets. They said, is Saul now also a prophet? You know, because he was prophesying so well. So if that's your area of strength, welcome. You're at home. If it is not your area of experience, welcome. You're at home. And uh, because that's just one of the attributes of God. And I know that a lot of churches say, please just don't do that. We want to measure everything. We don't want you just prophesying over people. We actually say the opposite here. We say, if you create an atmosphere of the prophetic, a strong atmosphere, the people around about have enough sense to recognize when it doesn't quite work. There's enough discernment. You have a 100 watt bulb, and then you try to give someone a 25 watt bulb, it just doesn't have the same light factor. But everybody has got to grow from where they are. And we always say this, when you do receive a prophetic word or you give a prophetic word, the measurement of how spiritual you are is not on the prophetic word. It is not. And it is also not on who gives you that prophetic word. All we want to do is make sure the source is the Holy Spirit. That's it. And then people will do the best they know how to do. And if, it's, if it turns out being something that didn't fit you, you just go, ah, oh, bless their little hearts for trying. You know? And if it turns out to be something that's just life-changing for you, then you, you, know, you go, yay, God. You know, come on. Let, 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 I'll have some more of this. We all want that. And so do take that liberty tonight. Let me introduce you to Prophet Steve Tibbs. <laughs> Would you like to introduce the team? Yeah, this is Sarah on violin, Gary on bass, Kelvin on drums, and then Anita and Naomi on vocals. Wow. Um, when we ask people why they come here, and of course we want them to come here because we want to be with them, that they have an equal desire to be in worship as they do in, in the prophetic. Isn't that incredible? I love that, the, it, and I don't find it separate. I find it quite overlapping. 
And so we hope that you will enter right into worship as well. Because I'll be honest with you, we're not done in 20 minutes. You know, it takes us much closer to an hour. And so sit down, stand up, do what you need to do. But the reason that we're doing that, we're not shifting onto something else until there is a breakthrough and the presence of God has, has come into the room and you realize anything is possible. And so that is a deliberate thing. It's not like we time it. Oh, now it's time for the Holy Spirit to show up. That's not true. We don't do that, but we're just making room for God to do anything anyway that you want to do it in this place. Uh, just uh, 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 Greg Black, would you please stand in the back? See that man? That's my husband. <laughs> After Jesus, he's the love of my life. And um, so uh, I, I appreciate him so much. I have reached that phase and stage of life. I realized I could not any longer even do what I do without him. You know, isn't that nice? You know. So we appreciate that. And I just want to say thank you for all the prayers about us moving into our home. We are in it. We're still in boxes, but we are in it. And uh, I actually got to sleep on a bed for the first time this week. So thank you for your prayers, and thank you, uh, uh, Scott and Fiona. I mean, Scott came over with all of his power tools and cut my bed, made it fit, cut my doors so they'd open and shut, you know, found, found ways to get all of our new Wi-Fi working in our house. And so, uh, and, and my husband's good at all that stuff, but I could tell my husband, had, have you, wives, can't you tell when your husband gets to that point? where their eyes are glazed over and they can't do not one more, honey, would you do this for me, please, job? Greg had passed that moment and his eyes were just glazed over. And so when uh, Scott would come and help him, literally there would be a relief and a weight off of him every week. And so I just want to say thank you to you, Scott. We appreciate you so much and we love you. Uh, Fiona is with her mom. Her mom is experiencing a little bit of a loss of memory and uh, you don't want to say too much and just some health issues. Her name is Doris. In which direction is she? Her house is right over, over there. Stretch your hands in that direction. Father, we just send a word of healing to Doris right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for quality of life. Father, we ask for fullness of life. Father, we thank you that her days are ordered by you, and those are good days. Father, we thank you for that. We send that to her right now in the name of Jesus. And our wonderful pastor prophet, Rob Cates, is at home in bed uh, tonight. Got a little bit of the uh, flu uh, that, that many have had. And so we send a word of healing to you, Rob. We love you. We know that God loves you. And we speak resurrection, health, and strength to every cell of your body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I have uh, some friends here from, you wouldn't call it the Midlands, would you? What would you call the area? Caroline? North Yorkshire. Is that what you call it? Why don't you stand up? Stretch your hands in their direction. We've journeyed together since before they were married, before they had children, and, and, and with his parents even before that. So we're just family. So stretch your hands in their direction. We love them. Father, I thank you for this man and woman right now. And Father, where you know everything about each one of us, Father, you, all, you love us so much that you always find what to touch in our lives that has the ability to produce life and life abundantly. Father, I ask for that right now for the both of them in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says, son, he says, even now, says the Lord, he says, uh, I am, I'm declaring over you. He says, you have not hit another level of circumstances that have worn you down. You have hit the same level of going around the mountain, around the mountain, and around the mountain without seeing ability of moving forward that has wearied you and worn you down, says the Lord. But the Spirit of God says, son, you're not perceiving correctly. 
For the Lord says, son, every circle you made around that mountain, I have raised your altitude. The Lord says, every circle you have made around that mountain, says the Lord, I have caused, he says, there to be a new development of spiritual muscle, says God. The Lord says, with every circle, he says, I have strengthened you. And even now, I declare over you, as the deer knows how to leap upon her high places on the mountain, I am putting the leap back on the inside of you, says the Lord. And the Lord says, the heaviness is having to drop off of you, says God. And the Lord says, you felt like you were in an in-between place, even in between uh, your, 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 your wife and your family. You felt like you were in an in-between place, be even between finances and who got finances to supply for what. And the Spirit of the Lord says, it was like you were living in a swirl. And you said, how can I have focus when I feel like I'm just constantly living in this swirl? And the Spirit of the Lord says, peace be still. As I spoke to the winds in times past, I'm speaking to the winds right now, says the Lord. And I am commanding a stillness that you would have ability to see through but immediately he says when the winds and waves stop they were on the other side the Spirit of God says son and daughter I'm declaring there's another side that you are landing on says the Lord and the Lord says I want you to get off with a different area of expectation and joy for I will put a skip back in your steps says the Lord and the Lord says, I will cause, says the Lord, he says, there to even be a new laughter in the home. And the Lord says that you will find out. He says it'll fall, cause you both to feel like you've been rejuvenated. And the Lord says that's what you have need of. But the Lord says, I'm bringing a mirror before you tonight that you might not forget what manner and what manner of man and woman you are, says the Lord. And I saw God holding the mirror up before you. And the Spirit of God says, I have called you as an evangelistic pastor, says the Lord. The Lord says, son, I do not want you to lay down that identity I put within you. Now, it doesn't mean I know what function that carries. But the Spirit of the Lord says, do not lay down that identity that I have given you. For the Spirit of God says, without it, you feel like you've lost a piece of yourself. And the Lord says, son, it's through those very areas that I'm going to fuel you, that I'm going to build you. The Lord says, son, that I'm going to cause you to be one. He says that is unfolded in your fullness of height and strength, says the Lord. And the Lord says that I will honor you. And let me say this. You're an honorable man. And the Lord is saying this. You have done what's right. You've been honorable. And you've even been honorable to other people that haven't been honorable back. But the Spirit of God is saying this to you. I will bless the motives of your heart. I will bless your efforts and the Lord says, and I will build bridges that you thought were too far past to even build, says the Lord. And the Lord says that you will see, says God. He says, there is nothing that is impossible to me, says the Lord. And I saw what looked like if someone had had a savings account that someone else might have had access to. And, and, and that someone else said, oh, I need this money right now. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to put it back. And it just didn't get put back. And I actually felt like that you were in a situation where you said, um, I feel like I've been robbed by those that I trusted the most. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we just declare, Father, over that situation, you have an ability to right any wrong and to turn what was meant for our harm to good. Father, I pray that over James right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you are the one that's going to restore, not other people. You are going to restore God. And Father, we release that upon him right now. And Caroline, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say this, and we know you got uh, uh, precious uh, 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 kids and loved ones, though they're bigger than what I thought they would be. But I heard the Spirit of the Lord say this to you. The Lord says, Daughter, I have always created you to be a woman that knew how to order chaos. So don't get overwhelmed by chaos, says the Lord. And the Lord says, I built you that way. And the Lord says, daughter, that you can uh, 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 be right in the eye of the storm and you can bring order to chaos. And the Lord says, daughter, those strengths and those talents and those anointings that I put within you in your mother's womb, the Lord says, activate them afresh. For the Lord says, they're gonna help be that which orders your steps and even puts a light upon your path, says the Lord. And I saw a silly, guilty thing that the enemy was whispering in your ear uh, and it almost felt like I'm supposed to be changing the world 
um, I should be out earning money, I should have done this, I should have done that. And all of it seemed to be associated with little, little lies of regret. Father, I break her free from those right now in the name of Jesus. Father, none of those were her path. She didn't miss out on anything that you had for her. Now we release fresh by your spirit, phase two, phase three, phase four. Father, let her use her anointings and strengths. And I think it's very important. You started qualifying other people to be prophetic and other people to be uh, prophets. And you started eliminating yourself from that. And the Lord says, the woman of dreams has got to return, says the Lord. Father, right now we release you speaking to her and counseling her in the night again. Father, you awakening her in the night with your voice. Father, you bringing her clarity that is beyond any circumstances that they would find themselves in. God, let your goodness be seen upon them. And we as the body of Christ, in agreement with God, say amen. 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 We love you. We love you. I don't know about you, but sometimes you're in situations where a word of God just changes everything. It just changes everything. And so we speak that blessings over you. Won't you stand to your feet? Could you give uh, someone a hug and, and say, uh, welcome? Welcome. Sometimes we call ourselves family, but we don't get close enough to touch. That's not you. We welcome you online tonight. We pray that the presence of God will be strong in your household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's enter into worship.
Praise, praise. 
Time we sing, you are holy. holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Yes, 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 your holy Jesus. Are you Lord God? We bless your name tonight. We magnify the name of Jesus in this place tonight. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. And how great.
voice of something happening in the atmosphere tonight. Cause you're the name above all Come on, the heavens are open tonight. The heavens are open here tonight.
so worthy tonight. So we pour it out at your feet. We pour it out at your feet. We give it all to you. highest praise. You're worthy. So worthy. You're worthy of the highest praise. Oh, who is like you, Lord? You're worthy. Who is greater than our God? of the highest praise. There is no one like you, Jesus. Lift up a song in this moment. Just pray in the Holy Spirit tonight, church. There's an open heaven. The majesty of God is in this room tonight. There's a holiness of heaven that's in our atmosphere tonight. Go forth, go forth. Angels ascending and descending here tonight, Lord. Oh, can you feel the smoke of heaven here as the song of the redeemed goes forth tonight?
soft ages did let and born of God before us and all who will believe to sing the song of ages to the land sing this again a thousand generations a thousand generations falling down and worship to sing the song of tonight. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, church. We believe this with all our might tonight, that with God all things are possible, that God is the highest name. He has all authority. Yeah, your name, your name, we sing your name. It's the highest. your name. Yes, it's the greatest one.
church.
They will sing that he shall reign forever and ever over everything, over everything, over everything. And he shall reign forever and ever. of the world, over all powers and principalities you reign, over every form of sickness and decay, the Lord our God he reigns, the Lord our God he reigns, and every people and tribe and tongue, they will sing of his reign and his rule and his dominion, yes, you have all power and all authority, you have all dominion. No supremacy, oh Lord, you reign above it all. No matter what we come in here with tonight, no matter what we're going through tonight, we believe as the church of Christ that our God reigns, our God reigns. Oh, through the winds and the rains and the storms that may come, we still believe that our God reigns. And he's seated on the throne. and the storms that come our way. We still believe that this one thing remains, that God is on his throne. And he's never coming out. The winds and storms that rage and the trials that may come our way. We still believe that this one thing still remains, that our God is on the throne. And he's reigning and he's ruling. And he's coming back to bring forth justice. Oh, I believe that the Lord is always oh, coming for his bride again. He's coming back for a pure bride. And he's coming back for a spotless bride. Oh, and our, our God is coming and he's riding on the white horse. Our God is coming and he's riding on the white horse. Yes, our God is coming and he's riding on that white horse. He's coming back with the sword of justice in his hand. He's coming back with righteousness in his plan. Oh, he's coming back again to rule and reign and have his way upon the earth. And every eye shall see and every ear shall hear that our God is on the throne. Our God is on the throne. Do you see him tonight? He's riding on that white horse. Do you see him tonight? He's got a scepter in his hand. He's got that scepter in his hand. He's got that scepter in his hand. And he's ruling with righteousness tonight. 